This week I've come to a quaint little place called Scotland. Specifically, Inverness in the Highlands. I imagine its people are thrilled that a well-spoken Englishman has come here to save them. People of Inverness, it is me, Joe Lycett, star of stage and screen. Tell me, what are your woes? Delivery surcharges. Oh, go on, lady. When you try and order things online at the end, when you've got things in your basket and you go to pay for it and you find out that there's an extra surcharge to the Highlands and Islands or, or they don't deliver at all. That's right. Those in the Highlands and the Wee Islands pay £41.3 million more in delivery charges than the rest of the UK. During lockdown, we relied on online shopping more than ever. But for these guys, it can cost £10 more to receive even a small item. When the pandemic first hit, I tried to order a meal kit online and it was £25 for the kit and they tried to charge £40 for delivery. What? So like <laughs> almost double yeah. the cost of the kit yeah. just to deliver it. And that's just because you're in Inverness. Yeah. One of those that charge more is DPD, which is very suspect as we discovered Royal Mail and Hermes don't actually charge extra for delivery for the exact same journeys. As people who live in Inverness, how does that make you feel? Well, it makes you feel forgotten about, really. Is this something you'd like me to take on? Absolutely, yeah. 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 Challenge accepted. Let's start with a geography lesson. Let's say I order a parcel from Berwick-upon-Tweed. Not in the Highlands. All the way down to Land's End, a journey approximately 550 miles. If I do that with DPD, they'll charge me £10.79. But if I order the same parcel from London to, let's say, Inverness, a journey also about 550 miles, that will cost me, with DPD, £19.19. And 19 pence which is more than £10.79. I probably didn't need to explain that to you. <laughs> same distance, same parcel, different price. But why? Well, because Inverness is in the Highlands and Islands. Our pals at DPD claim it to be offshore. Inverness isn't in the sea, is it, Kim? No, Inverness is not in the sea, Joe. I didn't think Inverness was in the sea. Many other couriers seem confused too, classing the Highlands and Islands as an out-of-zone or remote area, hence the eye-watering extra fees. My research, which admittedly only involved me drawing lines on a map, didn't indicate Inverness being particularly tricky to reach. It's serviced by three major A-roads, an airport, and is such a hub that DPD have multiple bases nearby and deliver 4,000 parcels to the region each night. There must be some incredibly difficult obstacles I'm missing. To discover just how dangerous the trip to Inverness really is, I've travelled 85 miles south to the quaint Scottish town of Pitlochry, which often isn't subject to the retailers and couriers' silly little surcharges. I've told Kim and her fellow Invernessians to order a bunch of stuff off the internet. Like food, Joe Malone candles and life-saving medicines. And I've told them not to worry about the cost, because I have a plan. Their parcels have been delivered outside Inverness, and they've reached me here in Pit Lockery. <laughs> I'll be delivering these from Pit Lockery myself with my own carrier company, Loyal Mail. I named it after my grinder profile. <laughs> Based on what some of the courier companies charge, I'm expecting this trip to Inverness to be one hell of a wild ride. So I'm taking no chances. <laughs> Billy Billingham. It's Joey Joeingham. Ah! <laughs> What's the most dangerous journey you've been on, mate? Into Baghdad under enemy fire. I think this is going to be a lot tougher. Oh, really? Have you brought a life raft? Have I brought a what? A life raft. Why do you need a li life raft? According to DPD, we'll be going offshore. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I've come prepared, actually. <laughs> you look absolutely... Ridiculous. Now, I know I'm a civilian, but I want you to know you can treat me as rough as you like. Really? Let's hit the tarmac. Let's do it. With our precious surcharge-free packages safely stowed away, we set off on our trip into the heart of darkness. A trip I feared might be my last. 
Yeah, I've heard that in extreme circumstances it is possible to drink your own urine. <laughs> what? There will be no need for that, mate. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll put this to one side, then. Yikes. But then, almost a whole 23 minutes into our mission, disaster struck. So I really need the loo, Billy. <laughs> I had quite a large decaf before we left. <laughs> Is this a turn-off coming up now? Yeah, we'll just cut a minute away. I'm not sure I'm going to make it, Billy. Really. What's the matter with you? I think a little bit just came out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to open this just in case. I'm going to need to get some extra space in there. <laughs> Oh, it's here. We're here. Just stop the car. Just stop the car here. Stop the car. Oh. Oh. Joe to Billy. Yep, send. Operation... Patricia, Indigo, Sierra, Sierra. It's complete. As we closed in on our target, and just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, they did in fact get a bit worse. Billy, I don't want to shock you, but we're out of minstrels. That was the last of the rations. You'll survive. We're only two miles away. Talk sense, man! You're babbling! <laughs> oh, there's a garage. Got a TV Times as well. As we entered Inverness, I realised that despite what DPD claim, we hadn't gone offshore at any point, and I dressed like a buffoon for no reason at all. Welcome. My loyal mail service had served a purpose. Thank you, thank you. You are so welcome. To get stuff delivered up the A9 is mission impossible, but not anymore, so it's brilliant. I love it. All of our parcels have arrived with no surcharge, and I genuinely think he should start up in business. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Cheers. Incredibly easy. The, the hardest part of the journey was listening to Joel. <laughs> After all that, we went to DPD and said, look, the Royal Mail and Hermes are capable of delivering to Inverness without these extra charges. So you can drop it and stop treating Inverness like it's offshore. They said, we incur additional costs in parts of the UK and the price of delivery reflects the, those costs. We have always been clear about different rates and we work with retailers to ensure consumers know what delivery costs they may face. However, mm. In the meantime, people in Inverness and across the Scottish Highlands may be interested to know this. When you're ordering a package through DPD, you can make this simple change to your details. Use the auto drop down box to change your location from the Scottish Highlands back to the UK, keeping the exact same address, and you'll get your parcel delivered to your door without incurring any of those extra charges. Now, it would be terrible if every single person in the whole of the Highlands made the most of that loophole tonight, knocking a big hole in DPD's profits. I cannot tell you how appalled I would be if that happened. <laughs> Have fun. Joe Lysett, serving consumer justice on a plate. <laughs>